proud of our guys today. Um, came out with good energy, good uh, passion to be able to play at home um, in front of our, our crowd, which you don't get many chances. You know, I think we average six maybe home games a year, and uh, that was one of them. So we took advantage of it. Guys played hard. Um, I thought we had uh, ebbs and flows. They were really good, and then some that weren't. And I was really proud of the guys. I challenged them at halftime. You know, we lost uh, a couple third downs on defense. We lost two minutes, um, and we lost some red zone and been stopped. So I, I thought that they came out of the half, and the first drive was really important to me. I thought the offensive line handled that. Uh, they overpowered a group they should overpower. Um, and we were able to play a lot of players today. We subbed out probably earlier than anybody in the country. and. I think that helps us down the road. We've played a lot of players today, played a lot of players last week, we played a lot of players every year, and I think that helps grow our team and our depth. So thanks to our crowd for, for sticking it out, and it was uh, it was warm like I anticipated, and I think that affected both teams. Have a question? Kirby, what have you seen out of Kobe Young? Two games, two touchdowns. Just <clears throat> talk about his growth and, and development. Yeah, he, he continues to get better. I, I don't know that today's a good judgment of Kobe Young. You know, he, he had a mesh pattern that, 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 that they didn't cover. You know, it wasn't a wow play. It was just a, an error on their part and a pretty easy throw. So um, the one last week was impressive. Uh, he continues to grow and get better, and we're going to need him um, in our offense. We need him to be able to play even more snaps um, and be in the best shape of his life to, to, to play those snaps. Just to follow up on Kirby, or follow up on Kobe. Um, how much when you were looking for a transfer portal addition this offseason, did you look for that kind of specific big red zone kind of body type? Yeah, it didn't really, didn't really say we were looking for that. We just looking for guys that fit our culture. You know, it wasn't like it was a, this is the cookie cutter. We want big, we want, big, we want good, and we want good people for our culture. And he is that. He was very clear in his reasoning for uh, why he wanted to come. And uh, I agree. I think he fits what our culture is, and it was more of a fit than it was a, a, a just looking for a specific type. Coach, the stark difference between this first half of this game and last week against Clemson, talk to me about what you saw, the connections between the offense out there today. Yeah, we played a different team. That was the difference. I mean, I, I would love to sit here and tell you that we just started fast today and everything clicked, but that wasn't the same opponent. And uh, you know, we were considerably better than that opponent. And, um, we should execute at a high level. And the week before, there was a lot of problems out there um, in terms of their players blocking them. And when you can run the ball, you can do pretty much what you want offensively. Uh, and and you know, the success we had running it opened it up for play actions and some shots. Kirby, what, what difference does Trevor make to the running game adding into the guys you already have that you make you feel good about I don't think we know that yet. It's hard to tell today, right? Like, I wouldn't judge that home today. I, mean, I think we've got uh, good, really good stable of backs. Uh, I'm fired up about our backs. I've said repeatedly to you guys that we got a great group, good young, good old, good leadership, good depth. Um, I felt really comfortable there all year. I still feel that way, but I can't put a significance of impact on what he did today because I, I, mean, I don't know that it matters which back was in there. How important is a game like this to be able, like you said, to get so many players in and continue to kind of build that chemistry with all the players? I think the biggest thing is getting game experience. So who you play with doesn't matter as much as if you play. And uh, you probably went against somebody Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday that was probably better than who you went against today. So uh, I look a lot more at the, the practice reps we took last week than those. Um, I want to see you perform when the anxiety hits and when the crowd's out there. but. You know, we had guys go out there and got an opportunity and, and make mistakes, bust. They got to get those things out of the way. They got to get them out of the way. And uh, the sooner we get them out of the way, the sooner they can become good players. Coach Robinson, 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 is going pretty good. It made you see him by the end of the day. It's awesome. It's great. Branson works really hard. Branson's a good back, but still coming back to his old self. And I uh, thought he had a good cut today and made some guys miss. And he's right back, man. We just got to get back to full strength. Yeah, Coach, right there before the half, you mentioned the two minute. What, what would you point to in terms of lack of execution right there that maybe didn't? You just missed some open guys. I mean, whether it was the route was cut short, route was cut off, or Carson didn't hit them, but had good calls. They were open. Um, maybe the receiver pulled up short, or maybe we just missed them. But uh, you know, we didn't have any timeouts, so it was a bonus to even get the ball back. And uh, we went three and out and got the ball back. I wanted to see us execute without timeouts. We did a pretty good job of that, got the one penalty. 
Um, and, and we'll say the defensive holding, I thought we'd be able to steal some points, uh, but we didn't. Five touchdown passes for Carson Beck today. Had the school record. Just what have you seen in his growth in just these past two games? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know that I've seen him grow in the last two games. You know what I mean? I think, uh, just true, true to be honest, he's he's grown. He's a good player. Um, he continues to get better. And it's not that you're saying he can't get better. Absolutely, he can get better. But today was about a lot of other players, not about Carson. Any update on Oscar? Uh, yeah, he had a slight ankle sprain. Um, so we'll see. I thought he could have gone, but he held him at halftime. Did he not get a warm Um, Wasn't able to go today. Hopefully, we get him back. Nate Frazier? Uh, yeah, he could have come back and we ended up holding him. I'm not even sure it was his shoulder, but I don't know what significance they came over to me and said he's ready to go back in. But at that point, we were moved on. Ja, Jordan Thomas, some of the younger guys on D line got some new light rush today. Just what about that group that? Has it been here, kind of like War and Stackhouse? How have they kind of come along? Yeah, got to keep getting better. We 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 we've got to grow those guys. Um, they work really hard during the week. It's critical to our success that we grow that that room and develop that room. We are not where we need to be, and uh, we we got to we got to develop that room because of the guys we've had out of that room. Terry Ingram, Dawkins, career had three tackles for loss today. With him being healthy now, what does he bring to this offensive line? Yeah, depth, twitch. You know, we've got a really good situation there with, uh, with him, uh, Gabe Harris, Joseph John Ajay. Um, you know, they, they, they've, they've had to step up in the forefront with Michael down, and um, you know, Ty's, Ty's been a good player since he's been here. He's just he's battled some injuries, and he's, he's healthy right now and, and, and playing well. Coach, you said the great thing about games like this is getting able to see some other people out on the field. What did you see from Stockton today and his connections that he made out there? Yeah, I thought Gunner played with more confidence. If you remember, Gunner had to play a lot of games last year and mop up duty where it was just clock management, run the ball, get out of the game. And, and this today, he got to play a little more like he did against uh, you know, Florida State. They did some good things, made some good decisions, uh, continued to improve that, uh, played well with the guys around him. He made them look good. He makes good decisions. He's he's getting wiser, and, uh, and, and we need him to. Back to that thing, Drew, you've held uh, your defense to tell the other teams of three points. Uh, what are you learning early on about just the identity of the defense, Katie Bull, and also that first first factor you guys? Yeah, hard to measure our success today, again, because I mean, that's not a disrespect. It's just the truth. Those guys, we're going to struggle um, up front. They don't have big guys. Um, they're starting quarterbacks out. You know, I mean, realistically, it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, last week was a great performance for our defense. Today was what we should do. So is it a little more frustrating then when you guys give up the three, the three points at the end of the game? No, I think that's a great learning lesson. It's more frustrating when you give up two third downs and they have an eight, nine-minute possession. That's frustrating. Aaron Smith last week, five or six, eight, four or seven. What else he do to become a more consistent factor in the passing game for you? Getting opportunities. He had a great week of practice, and I told him it, it may result in that or it may not. It doesn't matter. We're not outcome-oriented or process-oriented, and he had – for the really good practices. And I was like, well, you know, sometimes that equates to a great game, sometimes it doesn't. And it didn't equate to like some record breaking game, but he uh, he played well in practice and he worked hard and he continues to improve. You talk about Lawson Lucky and what he's brought to this team and the big catch last week and the touchdown this week. Yeah, Lawson's a competitor, man. He uh, he wants to do well, he wants to please, he works his butt off, really good route runner, tough physical guy. He missed a block out on the perimeter today that I know he's upset about, but he made some plays with his uh with his route running, and I'm uh, really proud of Lawson and, 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 and how he works every day, how he leads. So what about your sec? Just what what has he kind of brought? I know you know I you know I'm past you, but just what he what he brings to the table. Oh, he's tough, physical leader. I think he understands that uh, his growth is week to week, getting to play on this team, getting to be a part of something big. And I mean, everybody wants stats. Everybody wants to put up Brock Bowers type of numbers, but he's going to get his opportunities. There's going to be games. Um, where he has opportunities to make plays, and I, I, I really believe he's going to make them. He's a tough physical guy. Aaron Smith had one touchdown pass. He almost probably had two at one point. Just what have you seen from him so far, and how important was it for him to come back for this five years? Uh, Aaron's great. Aaron works really hard. I think I've told you guys he, he's probably the, the one player that I've seen in my nine years take the biggest transformation from coming from a small school. You know, he didn't go up or to Lakeland. He went to a small school down in Polk County. And he just got better, 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 better. He's been through significant injuries, three, four surgeries. And he's just so mature now. He knows how to work. Um, he 
he's much more patient when things don't go well, and just his maturation process has been great for our program. You open on the uh, road next week uh, for an SEC play against a uh, tough Kentucky team with a couple of guys you know well. Uh, just your thoughts as you as you ready to prepare for that trip? Yeah, I mean I don't think we've been up there that it wasn't a sort of battle. Like, I can't think of a time I've ever been to that stadium and played the game that was like, well that was easy. It's never easy up there. Never. It's never easy on the road in the SEC at all. And I don't know if people truly appreciate and respect a win on the road at Kentucky, how hard it is. They're well coached. They're really physical. Um, they do a great job. I mean, they, 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 they have a really good football team. So we will have our work cut out for us, not to mention eight straight SEC games, I think it is. Uh, last week it was Cash Jones' pickup. Who or what place it up to you today? I don't know that one stood out like that. I, I thought uh, Mike did a great job with a couple of key play calls where he hit shots. Um, I, I, I can't think of one particular. There was some really good uh, crack box where the runs got sprung out and guys made good cuts. You know, it was probably the day with Carson's legs. You know, he chose to, to make some plays with his legs, and um, that makes a difference. It makes it really hard to defend uh, in games. Any more questions, Coach? How's Ja, ja been since the uh, new offensive lineman since he's gotten in? I think he got in last week and he may have had some snaps today. Just what have you seen out of him? I got a hold today, so that's not progress. But he, uh, he's getting better. He's humongous. He's a developmental player that we're trying to develop. Um, we, I think we're, we're trying to speed up the process maybe faster than is possible. Uh, but he's, he's been a sponge in terms of trying to learn what to do. And you can imagine not playing football since eighth grade and going out there and trying to play uh, in the SEC. And that's, you know, just a lot of football he needs to play and a lot of practice reps he needs. And as long as he's willing to do that, he'll have a chance to be successful. Any updates on Michael Williams at all? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's hurt. He's got an ankle. So, I mean, like, he couldn't go today. I don't know what he'll be able to do. Uh, I'm sure we'll find out on Wednesday. I mean, I'm hopeful to get him back. But we're just got him in a game ready, got him getting rehab, got him working, uh, getting treatment all day Friday, all day Saturday, all day tomorrow. Have time for one more question? Okay, thanks, Coach. Thank you.